Hello Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lemke here with Two Gamer Goggles and today we are going to do another box breaking. This box breaking is the Sentinels of the Multiverse which is a, uh, you know, I don't even know what kind of a board game it is. I just know it's a board game. Uh, my kids got to play it at Origins Game Fair and they really enjoyed it so we picked up uh, a copy. Uh, once again, with, as with all our box breakings, I have no idea what's in this. Uh, obviously, it's a superhero card game. I don't know if that means it's a deck building game or or not. And the uh, a rule book is pretty cool looking right off the bat. It looks a lot like a comic book. So we're going to go ahead and start there. Zoom in just a hair. Try and take some of that glare off there. And back up. Just like that. Uh, and yes, it is done in a comic book format. Uh, they have a quick reference guide right there on the cover. It is done in an early comic book style-ish format. Uh, as you can see, the art's pretty cool. It looks like it's pretty simple. The print is pretty big on the pages. Villain turn, hero turn, environment turn. Hit points, battle, damage, conflict, and resolution. Uh, hero comparisons. You know, I think I played this game last year. Uh, maybe. I kind of recognize a couple names, but a lot of people can use things like Absolute Zero. Uh, oh, and then they got the hero bios. Um, I don't remember any of this thing. And got the different villains. And then on the back you have a glossary. In the back. More glossary and a message to go forth heroes. Oh, I can tell you right now I'm wrong. I did not play this issue. I would remember all of this. So, real quick, we're going to take a look. There are a lot of punch-outs with this game. Uh, they are two-sided. Immune to damage, minus one damage dealt. Damage dealt is plus one. You cannot use powers. You cannot deal damage. You cannot play cards. You cannot draw cards. Uh, damage taken. All damage is toxic. All damage melee. And then you've got a whole bunch of number counters. And then we have the big old box with the little Handy dandy separators. You have this stack of, I'm going to say special cards because they look different than all the other ones. These might be the character cards. You have Insula Primalis, Primal, Primalis probably. And then on the back, you have the same. So we have Megapolis, Bike Industrial Compact, Complex, Rook City, Ruins of Atlantis. These must be different areas where you can uh, play around the world. Or have your story take place. Oh, this is Absolute Zero. Bunker. That's a cool picture. Well, until I actually know how to play the game, I'm going to say that these are locations and hero slash villain cards. That's a nice picture. Again, the art looks pretty good. Uh, we're not going to bore you with a ton of stuff by going through every card. We're just going to kind of flip through some of these now. 
Look at the color on that clay bread. That's awful. It's spiked. Hmm. We're just gonna open up a couple of. Well, let's put them all out first. Maybe I don't. So we have Wraith, Tempest, Mighty Raw, God of the Sun. These must all be individual decks for different characters. We have Baron Blade, Omnitron. The Indestructible Bunker and Haka. So let's take a look at a couple of these. See if they're all the same or different. Uh, we have to be pretty careful here that I don't mess these up. Ouch. So are these all a Wraith back? Uh, well, yes, these appear to be all a Wraith back. Pretty pretty heavy duty cardstock. Uh, so you have infrared eyepiece equipment, like three of them. Inventory barrage. Mega computer. Yeah, I'm not gonna flip through a ton of these because uh, you obviously get the idea that this is how you're gonna build your character stack, or you're gonna use these cards to play. What I'm not really certain on is why the Wraith seems to have so many cards. The Wraith must be I'm going to have to look at it. I'm betting that the Wraith is the villain that comes in the box. But we'll take a look at that real quick. Because these, oh, oh, no, these aren't all the Wraith. Interesting. This is a. Here lies the Wraith card, as in he's been killed. And here's Visionary deck, I'm going to call it. Because I, I, again, like I said, I don't know the full contents of this. And the Visionary. And then you go into the Tempest. So these. These cards are all labeled, uh, and we'll just flip it over. This is the Tempest, and you have another bit of the Tempest here. So I'm guessing that these are what you draw to make your hand when you play the game. Uh, again, the art is pretty cool, and we're just going to flip through some of these. I don't know if there's any rarities. I don't believe it's a collectible card game. I believe that you just go ahead and play. And then there's the visionary, the character card. And on the back there is... Well, I'm actually to a point now where I really want to get into the playing of this game. Because, well, I like the art. I like superheroes. And... I feel like I'm probably kind of boring you without knowing too much. Other than there's quite a few cards that come with this box. There's... Well, let's do this. I could sit here and I could go through every single card individually, but to give you an idea of what's in the starter. Here's a one inch base and these are cards so this is each one of these is probably about 75 cards to 100 cards. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So about 750 cards plus the game rules. You, you get all the art for it and uh, hours and hours of playing the game. Uh, 
again. The cards all come in order, it appears. These are the indestructible bunker cards. And it makes sense that you have heavy plating, maintenance unit, recharge mode, turret mode, upgrade mode. Uh, and then you have, you move into the fanatic. Who is in Templar armor. And of course she's going to be holier than thou with absolution is her relic sword. Uh, she has the Aegeus of Resur Resurrection, which is her armor. Uh, brutal Sensor. Everything is holy and cleansing and chastising type of bit. Uh, so, in the box set of Sentinels of the Multiverse, you get all the punch outs you need to play the game. The comic book style rules, these identification cards for, for now is what I'm going to call them, and the cards you need to play the game and represent yourself as a hero within the game. Well, it, it's bugging me, so I have to go look. Normally I don't do this during a box breaking. But it's bugging me. I need to know what these cards are for. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to look real quick. And we have 10 hero character cards, which are... That would be a hero character card. 400 hero cards. 8 villain character cards. 100 villain cards, 60 environment cards, 36 divider cards. I'm going to guess that's what these are. The round tokens and the rectangular tokens. Well, uh, in a short while, we'll have, I don't know if we'll have a demo up or if we'll actually have gameplay. But my boys uh, have been begging me since Origins to get this video filmed so they can bust out the game and start playing it when I'm at work. So it must be pretty good because my boys are pretty picky. Uh, I'm almost positive I played a demo of this before now that I've seen some of the cards. I'm not entirely sure. I know I spoke with the guys from Sentinels of the Multiverse briefly last year at Gen Con. And we kind of, because of real life and stuff, Stops communicating. So, again, this is the box breaking of Sentinels of the Multiverse, and I hope you like what you saw in the video. I hope that it encourages you to make an educated decision as to whether or not you want to purchase this game. Uh, stay tuned for more Sentinels of the Multiverse coverage in the near future. Thank you. Have a nice day. This is Matt Lemke with Through Gamer Goggles. Gamer-Goggles.com.